Ciao and welcome to Geo's Paintbrush, where five minutes is all it takes to be blown away by one of the world's greatest artists. In our last two episodes, we've traveled to 20th century Spain to experience Picasso's anti-war masterpiece Guernica, and to 17th century Italy to join Caravaggio's The Supper at Imus. In today's show, we journey to France, to Paris, the City of Lights, to experience one of my favorite Impressionist works. Claude Monet's Arrival of the Normandy Train, Saint Lazare Station, Oil on Canvas, 1877. Thanks for joining us. Monet, responding in part to the invention and proliferation of photography, captures a fleeting, subjective, and full color impression, not of what he believes the station is supposed to look like, but in actuality, what he sees literally with light, color, and even movement depicted as his own eyes process these things in real time. It's a momentary impression true to the painter's perception, not to some ideal conception or even a memory of a scene in his mind's eye. It's this truth, this authenticity, to me, that gives Monet's works their beauty. With the invention of paint in tubes, pre-mixed and portable, Monet and his Impressionist contemporaries took to the gardens, fields, parks, street corners, and railway stations to paint from life rather than from memory, sketches, or models back in their studios. This liberating development enabled these artists to breathe a rich and colorful life into their works, something photography at the time, limited to black and white, could not match. In this way, Monet helped make painting relevant in an era when new technological developments and changes in society threatened to make the medium appear old-fashioned, stale, played out. Thus, Monet could capture a train pulling into a busy Paris station in a way that no other medium or human being could. To quote the American poet Ezra Pound, whose imagism was like Impressionist writing, Monet was able to make it new. As a city guy, this is one of my favorite Monets, capturing the excitement of the possibilities of travel the anticipation of arrival, the movement, urban life, modernity, and perhaps even the desire to escape to a slower, simpler life in the country. For Monet, in this painting, Normandy. Dana and I love to travel, and whenever we leave Chicago for a new adventure, I can't help but think of this painting. One day, we'll board a train bound for Normandy from Saint Lazare, and make the return trip the same way, sort of our own living Monet, enjoying our own personal impression. I can't wait. That's all for now. Thanks for joining us.